Well, thousands gathered at a university in, Missis university in Mississippi and Oxford this morning to honor the six people killed in an airplane crash near Tuscaloosa, Alabama. WCBI's Chad Groening has the university, was at the university, and has more. People from all over the area made their way into the Ted Smith Coliseum at the University of Mississippi. They came for a celebration of lives. Dentists Jason Fariz and Leah Fariz, dentist Michael Perry and his wife Kim Perry, a nurse practitioner at the University of Mississippi, and dentist Austin Poole and his wife Angie Poole all perished in an airplane crash in Tuscaloosa County, Alabama on August 14th. All are welcome here today as we gather to demonstrate our love. Your presence, I know, is an encouragement to these families. John Green knew all of the deceits and their children. And the magnitude of losing six of our most wonderful people who are our community supporters, who are our coaches, who are our nurses, who are our dentists, but also uh, our friends. Uh, losing them at once, the magnitude has been hard to describe and determine at one time, candidly. Sparky Reardon was another of the event's organizers and a friend of the families. Anytime you lose one person in a community like Oxford, it's uh, impactful. But when you lose six, and there's six professionals, six parents, six community servers, it's, uh, it's just a huge hole in our soul here right now. Russ Jones is an Oxford resident who was well acquainted with one of the victims. Michael was one of my first friends when we first moved here to Oxford uh, four or five years ago and I instantly saw his passion and his drive and, and his heart. He was a guy that would give you the shirt off his back and he was especially concerned about those that, that didn't have what he had, uh, those that, that might have been destitute in life. Dr. Ed Holliday is a Tupelo dentist who served as an usher at today's memorial. These are colleagues and I've met and uh, known them over the years and it's a very sad occasion but at the same time I think this has to bring comfort to the family to see the hundreds and hundreds of people from around this area that have come to be a part of this uh, commemoration service. And Holiday says there will be help for the many dental patients who lost to their beloved dentists. Through the Mississippi Dental Association there is a uh, organization that puts together dentists that are, will be helping out and there's a lot of dentists that have offered and I'll offer mine to help out where it need be until uh, the practice can make a transition in each of the practices. The family has asked everybody uh, to, to want every, let everybody know how much they appreciate their thoughts and prayers and that while we still mourn the loved ones we lost that they're ready to start focus on the living. Today the Memorial Service at the Tad Smith Coliseum here at Ole Miss went a long way to bring this grieving community together. But now it's time for friends and family to begin what could be a long healing process. Chad Groening, WCBI News, Oxford. Now there has been a memorial fund set up. Our OxfordFamily.com is a site where you can donate.